Hello guys, I give you slash hitman here, and we're gonna be doing something a little bit different today. Uh, basically, I have no internet today, so I figured, heck, why not do a little playthrough of something? And then you may be wondering, wait a second, how, how are you playing seven days to die with no internet? Don't you need to log in for that? I mean, well, yes, I pretty much log. Basically, I'm getting new internet tomorrow, so we canceled the internet today, so I pretty much have had logged into seven days to die yesterday and kept it up so I could do this today because I don't want to be basically bored out of my mind because I pretty much have nothing to do today until like three o'clock so anyway let us get started shall we we're gonna, we're gonna go new game it's gonna, it's gonna be FFFFF because that's my freaking push to talk key and there we go Yes, yeah, so for those of you who don't know, this is pretty much zombie Minecraft, except not zombie Minecraft. It, it's hard to explain. But basically, first thing you want to do is punch a tree, just like in Minecraft. The basic goal of this game is to just, you know, survive the night. Which is actually pretty dang hard if you're brand new to it. I mean, uh, this game is absolutely terrifying at night. I mean, I played a lot of DayZ. And there is nothing more terrifying than the zombies at night in this game. I mean, you'll be shitting your pants for like the first, well, three days at least until you get used to them. I never actually spawned in this area before, so let's have a look-see on the map. Where the heck am I? Alright, uh, I don't want to be here. We're gonna go, what is this? Dearsville? Well, that's where we're gonna go. Uh, this way, right? This way. Yes, this way. Good enough. G come on, move. Alright, there we go. The nice thing about this is uh, they implement a lot into it, and I know this is in like pre-alpha or just alpha or something, but I have had an absolute blast with this game. I highly recommend it to anyone. It's currently like 35 bucks. A little pricey in my opinion for the actual game, but they probably you know need the money for development and stuff, and I'm more than happy to support it, so I highly recommend it multiplayer is pretty fun like if you get a friend and stuff but uh, yeah I I mean I've had a blast with this game I have I've been playing it for like probably like four or five days in my spare time still haven't gotten tired with it it's just super fun it has a really like large crafting system so you don't well basically you can craft all these sorts of traps you can pretty much do anything it's a sandbox game which speaks for itself I mean you get a sandbox game, you can do just about anything, you know, aside from the basic game rules, so. Alright, here we are, finally. So basically my plan is for today I'm basically I want to get some basic supplies food and such hopefully hopefully some potato seeds if I possibly can and uh pretty much I'm going to stay the night in a brick house so hold on a sec I got a freaking thing here All right Also for me, uh, it's kind of like the opposite of Daisy. For me, zombies actually run inside, so it, you don't want zombies in here. Oh no! No 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 no! This brick house looks good enough. I pretty much always hold up in a brick house because it's slightly more durable than your well, average siding. Um. a bit of cabin wood and block up these... Oh man, this thing good. Let's raid the cupboards first, then head upstairs for the night. Uh, 
Oh gosh, they're inside. Uh, or they broke a window. Alright, upstairs we go. Let's block off these stairs here so I can have a little little bit of peace of mind while I loot up here. To make a little bit more log cabin wood. Peace of mind. I can actually loot up here without being worried about getting raped by zombies. They're walkers. Kind of hoping to find a gun. Because, well, then I really don't have to worry about zombies. There's so many guns in this game. It's basically America. Gonna take that fancy little bed. Well, this is kind of disappointing. Don't have anything up here, really. So we're gonna break break these uh, these things. Get some scrap metal. So we can make some like, garden hose, iron ingots, and such. Yeah. Um. Oh. Oh man, those curtains, man, so heavy. Alright. Seeing as how the outside world is being destroyed by zombies, we're gonna be up here for a little bit. See what we got. Well, we can make some torches. Alright. Um, um, I'm not really liking the whole backyard thing here. Uh, let's see. Alright, so we're gonna make some ladders. S start off with some wood planks here. And then get some. Where is it? Plywood. From plywood, we make sticks. And from that, we make a freaking ladder. That should be enough. Okay, let's... Let's die. Oh, fantastic. Come on. Please, not today. Alright, screw it. We're going around the front here. Here we go. That's one. Sirs, just uh, breaking things. Uh, thank you for your cooperation. Have a nice day now. Alright, raid a few other houses while we have some daylight. I'll probably be going upstairs into the attic by like 1700. 1700 hours! Potato seeds would be wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Nothing. Okay. We're gonna die. I will admit I've had better luck in uh, other games of this I've played. Oh, baby. Well, 
that should last us the night and be able to clear out the house in the morning. Holy crap. Well, I've got a lot of gu handguns now, so Obama hates me. Shoddy shells, but no shoddy. Got, got dead. Alright, time to make a exit. We got like a couple hours left. Should probably get these. Them irons is handy. I punch through metal railing like little baby men. God forbid you get hit by the curtains, it'll knock you out cold, baby. Alright, I'd say one more house. Be my lucky house, be my lucky house, be my lucky. And that's how the playthrough almost ended on the first day. Oh my gosh, that was so bad. <laughs> Frickin' cops. Frickin' cops. Alright, we'll get this one, and we'll go. <sighs> oh yes, finally, potato seeds were safe. Good now, just gotta get a little bit of dirt from outside. Dirt? Uh, hello? No. Oh, there you go. Alright, that'll have to do. Can get more in the morning. Let's go back home. Pretty sure home's this way. Oh, great. Great. How y'all doing? Have a nice day. <laughs> Welcome home. Basically, I want to spend I don't want to spend too many days in this cuz eventually if I don't rebuild, they'll actually pretty much destroy the entire house. Oops. Okay. So, Time to make the preparations for the night. Um. Well, we'll put you down so we can have a little space. I oh, wouldn't chat. This would be handy. Alright. Uh, just put some water in here, I guess. Don't need that much for now. This is our water storage tank. Yeah, so basically I was, uh, pl like, the last game I played this, I was sitting in a brick house exactly like this one, and, uh, I stayed here for about six or seven days without repairing any of the structure below, and I'm like, you know what, this is probably, like, Minecraft floating blocks and stuff, even, I, I, I knew, like, some things fall when you break blocks beneath them, but I didn't think an entire house would fall down. So basically, I'm on like day seven, just sitting over here crying in the corner, and basically the entire half of the house just collapses beneath me. It was great. So just note to everybody, if you apply this, uh, when you're in a house, repair it in the morning. Be a good idea. Alright, so we're gonna make some, uh, let's make a storage chest, shall we? Alright. Storage chest, I think probably about like two of them for now. Uh, hello, where are you? Storage chest, yeah. Okay. I guess this will just pretty much be our designated storage area. Alright, this one will be for extra guns and ammo. Um. um. 
just knows how many iron ingots we have. But for this fun before food, why not? Probably good. I need to eat some of this. Oh, can of cat food, wonderful. And then apparently those candy tin cans are for like making mines or whatnot. I hungry. Alright, now in my experience best course of action is to break a hole in the ceiling. If I can ever break a hole in the ceiling. Get my stamina back up. Where was I breaking this hole? Alright, time to make a freaking torch. Ah, uh, torches. Is my there you are. Oh. as well. Get those potato seeds. Hey, there you are. And yay, now we have a steady food source. Well, night is coming, so we're going to... Do I buy boarded windows? and giggle. Screw it. Alright. Board up these windows, yo. down around me. Um, I suppose in a world where you can punch straight through iron fence and punch down trees, the zombies will probably be able to break through the brick walls. So yeah, now we pretty much just wait out